when I was about to graduate, when I was applying for grad school, uh -huh. <laughs> I needed recommendation letters, right? Right. So I emailed my um, advisor saying, this is what's going on. <laughs> He's like, I've never seen him in my life. <laughs> <laughs> AKA Chathra, AKA <laughs> Cricket Professional. All right. AKA. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think we're gonna bash you on that one. All right. <laughs> AKA Drake Fanboy. Oh, you gotta do that on here. Right? I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> you talked about him way too much, man. Bro, you didn't always want to do industrial, right? No, I didn't. All right, so what'd you want to do before that? Because that's like a very common route, right? Yeah, it is. Like, it I feel is. like this happens a lot. A lot of people are like, uh, oh yeah, I'm industrial, and I'm like, did you come in industrial? And they're like, no. Bro, no. Tell you one thing. Cause like, when you I didn't do it. I didn't come yeah. in industrial. Exactly, because I feel like everybody wants to do engineering, like you know, mechanical, electrical. These are like, this is what everybody wants to do, I guess, right? I don't know. I don't know. That's what I feel. Put, speak your mind, and then yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, yeah, add in, yeah, I'll add in my piece. So like, I want to do mechanical. Okay. I came in as a mechanical engineering, whatever student. And halfway down the line, I was like, this is too hard. <laughs> right. Like, se end of second year was pretty hard. So I was like, what am I going to do in two more years? When it's like, you know, when I'm about to graduate, and it's like, I'm not even, I don't even think I'm going to pass these classes. You know what I mean? Right. So what was happening? You were just going to class. You were going to class or not going to class, but you're taking the test. You're getting like C's, D's, F's in it. And you're like, oh, I mean, oh, it wasn't shoot. like that. Like, I realized before that happened. Oh, you up, just looked at the material and you're like... Yeah, no, up till that point, I was good, bro. Like, my GPA was like 3.94. <laughs> I get it, yeah. That, yeah. Then, wait, wait, but I'm confused though. So you're saying that, like, you weren't getting Fs on tests? No, no, I wasn't. But at the same time, um, I wanted to do something with business, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And then... Um, and the material looked hard. You're yeah, like, oh, it looked geez. hard, and it, it wasn't something that I wanted to, like, you know, commit to. And then we, me and my friend, we were both like dropping out of mechanical, thinking that you know this is gonna be too hard, it's not worth it, whatever. And then we found out by industrial, and it was like business and engineering. Did your advisor tell you about it? Did you hear it from other Bro, students? Bro, like, my whole undergrad, I met my advisor like twice. Okay. <laughs> so we didn't even talk about anything. Okay. Just yeah. For, like, schedule. So that happens a lot too, actually. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it does. It's a normal thing. Yeah. Like people have get assigned an advisor, right? Yeah. And it just happened to my sister. My sister a freshman yeah. this year. She's assigned an advisor, right? Yeah. She one doesn't like the advisor. Yeah. Two is like. I don't know her, like, it's your first time in college, yeah, you aren't yeah. used to maintaining a professional relationship with yeah, anyone, exactly. that's real, yeah. like, that's serious, and then, it's like, if the professor or if the advisor doesn't make an effort to reach out to you yeah. and really guide you, you don't really care, yeah. you don't really care. Bro, so what happened was, my advisor changed from my first two years, to the second two years, right, and then, at the end of this, uh, your first year, two years being a mechanical advisor? No, no, no. What okay. happened was at Penn State we had this two plus two program. Okay. So one was two at years a, not engineering related. No, no, no. Yeah, and because of that we were at a satellite campus, not the main campus. Okay. Yeah, so I'm we with you. Like, I'm yeah. with you. So I'm we were you. there for two years. Moved right. on to the main campus for right. the last two years. For right. Engineering, right? And then so my advisor changed, and at the end of my when I was about to graduate, when I was applying for grad school, uh huh, <laughs> I needed recommendation letters, right? Right. So I emailed my um, advisor saying, this is what's going on. Like, Did you need, talk to your advisor about it? Bro, I need a recommendation. I fucking emailed him, bro. And then, you know what he replied? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I've never seen him in my life. I'm like, oh, I'm going to recommend you. <laughs> and I was like, oh, uh, excuse shit. me, can I get a recommendation letter? You're my <laughs> yeah. advisor, this and yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Who are you? <laughs> yeah, bro, and the funny part was I took one of his classes, right? Yeah. <laughs> But he didn't so know who I was. And I got a B minus in that class. And, I was, and he was like, you What got was a B your response? What was your response when he said I that? I didn't reply. Like, what, what, was your, what was your intrinsic response? I was you were like, 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 what? <laughs> Did you think that he was going to say something? Like, yeah, sure. Yeah, because what happened is that every other professor that I talked to, you know what they said? They were like, uh, How about you draft it? Draft your recommendation letter, get it to me, I'll evaluate it, and I'll, like, you know, sign it. And I was expecting the same thing. And then this guy was like, and bro, later, I went on, like, I was Googling about him and stuff. 
and he's like this big shot guy in industrial engineering. He's like uh, he's written books and stuff. And I was like, oh, man, like what do I do? <laughs> like I wasted my chance. You know what I mean? You're like, dang, I screwed up. Bro, like, this guy, no, this guy designed. He was the head human factors engineer for like the LG, like um, like their flagship phone. Oh, that's cool. That's crazy. Really? I, yeah, and he was my advisor. Never saw him. <laughs> bro, that's a problem, bro. That's a problem. Yeah. I'm not saying like I'm not saying like on your end it's a problem yeah. or it's on his, his end it's is a problem. System. Right. But what I'm saying, what the thing that I'm saying is a problem though is is like professors that are schools yeah. do really cool things yeah. and you don't even know. Yeah, don't even no know one that. tells you. Yeah. It's not like it's maybe marketed on the engineering yeah, website, yeah. maybe. Yeah. But like it's not talked about in their classes. Yeah. Like they talk like, they, they, they don't come out saying you know, Right, they don't come out just like guns ablaze. I understand yeah, why it's kinda yeah, like yeah. pompous maybe, yeah, right? Yeah. But that would help. Yeah, it would. Seriously. So like if I knew this guy was like, you know, like this, I'd right. probably go and like, you know, be like, hey. No, right. And you don't realize that they do yeah. that stuff and they yeah, consult yeah. for big companies yeah. or do stuff for people that's yeah. like actually pretty cool. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm telling you, bro, that that's like that grinds my gears more than anything with the freaking mm. uh um not knowing a professor does research. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, think That's of professors true. here. You don't know that some of these professors do really cool research. Bro, it took me like the longest time to realize that was their main job. Not teaching. I thought, yo, these guys teach, you know? I'm like, so glad you said that, bro. I was yeah. just having a conversation uh, with one of our professors yeah. about that same thing. I was like, do you realize that nobody knows? Yeah. Nobody knows that, that you do uh, all this like cool research for the majority of your time. Yeah. You teach one or two classes, yeah. but you're here because primarily because for research, yeah, yeah, for research yeah. and like getting uh, papers and, yeah. and all this stuff. I didn't yeah. know what a paper was. Like, yeah. what's a paper? Like, yeah. What are you talking about? It's like a, it's like a process. It's a big process for a professor. Right, and that's how they become yeah. established in the yeah. industry and well like known. Tenure, you know, yeah, there's like these online communities of like not online, but in real world communities of professors. Like, if you're a human factors professor, yeah. there's a whole human factors like yeah. community yeah, out yeah, in the yeah. world, and yeah. you have like these experts and all yeah, this stuff. Exactly. I just I was blind to that, bro. So you switch to industrial, and you're like, this has business. This has all these other factors involved with it. Yeah. Is there any part through industrial where you were still were like? I don't know if I want to do this because of whatever reason. At the beginning of my fourth year, I started getting into it. I was like, oh shit, this is what they're talking about, you know? You're like understanding yeah, it more. I started, so I up just, until this fourth year, yeah, you didn't under really. I was like, what's You were like, out? bro, I'm just getting blasted bro, with like 10 like, different things of information. Look at it's like, well, one class is about like back injuries. The next one is about like, you know, like workflow is productivity and I'm like what and one the thing is about like <laughs> produce like the manufacturing line and yeah. producing parts and one is about yeah, materials like and costing parts, like, and, yeah. the, and steel and the amount of steel you want exactly. to put into something and I was yeah like, what's going on right now like what do we want to do with my life right right because and that's one thing bro that like, I thought it was gonna be about business and it wasn't about business my third year right that was my worst year my GPA dropped like crazy was it like, more technical yeah. stuff um operations research yeah it, it was coding technical. maybe yeah, it was technical. Okay, yep. so just to give you guys some context, basically what it is is it's like, and correct me on any part, I think it's like, like all these different slices. So there's like a coding aspect, right? And then there's this operations research aspect, which is more like what linear, linear algebra type stuff. Yeah. And then there's um, another like materials and costing aspect. Then there's another like, what do you need to make this type of um, product, right? The idea is it's, uh, it's not, it's what you're saying. It's not deep. It's like yeah. sprinkling, bits and bits of it's bits everything. and bits of all this stuff. Then yeah. you do like human factors where it's like safety and it's yeah. like, is this guy going to hurt his back? Yeah, right? exactly. So it's like, thing, right, right, right. right. What the fuck? But that's, but yeah, yeah. So that's why I made other videos talking about this, about the idea how yeah. industrial engineering is like, if you aren't sure exactly what you want to do, yeah. right? And I know it's so easy for me to say this because I'm industrial engineering, yeah. but if you aren't sure what you want to do exactly, yeah. it's such a good alternative because yeah. you can still pivot yeah. on your fourth year yeah. and tailor your um, what you're doing yeah. to whatever you want to do. Exactly. Like right yeah. now, when I graduate, yeah. I can go, I could go and do like data analysis because yeah. I have enough in the coding aspect right. that I could like learn a few more things yeah. and find a way to go work for that just, type of company. Just apply it, yeah. Exactly. And, or you could step to the left here and go work in a traditional manufacturing yeah. type of environment yeah. and do like uh, management type stuff. Or yeah. you can go and do like, I don't know, there, there's just so many things, bro. bro. That's very true. So fourth year, let me tell you one thing. Yeah. yeah. So I started getting into Six Sigma, like lean. Right, right, right. Bro, that that was like my favorite part. Really? Yeah, because I feel like that's like very. Try to articulate what that is for them real quick. Not okay. not on a deep level, just yeah. surface level. Like what is that? What's lean? So like, lean, 
lean engineering is pretty much reducing waste in your system. Like you wanna like stop wasting your time pretty much, right? So the idea is that yeah. there's this big company and entity, right? Yeah. Like a like anyone, like an Apple, like a Tesla, yeah. like a any type of um company yeah. and especially in a manufacturing environment that like makes products yeah and there's a lot of waste in yeah. terms of like you have Relatively, hundreds of workers yeah, exactly. you have hundreds of workers yeah. and they're someone's training them to do something mm -hmm. right so you're and you're paying them money to yeah. do that hourly yeah and how they're being trained to do it and how they're doing it is mm -hmm. very inefficient yeah. so there's really thousands of hours wasted and we're not yeah. talking about just standing around we're talking about put this product on this car and we're not doing it in the most efficient way. Like maybe we're doing it in a way that takes an hour, yeah. but maybe we could have a new process that yeah, takes 10 minutes. It yeah, it's like, holy yeah. jeez, that's, it's like that very practical 50 though, minutes. Right? Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of money. Do you want to know what happened in my country? Like a few weeks back. What happened? Do you want to know? Yeah, yeah. Do you watch Game of Thrones? No. It's like Game of Thrones, bro. You don't watch <laughs> Did you have any culture shock at all coming over here? Yeah, bro. What do you think? What, <laughs> I don't do know. Think? I don't yeah, know. Of course, yeah. So it give me an example. Big, it was a big culture shock. Like where I come from, everybody, including me, I was very, very like uh, backward-minded. What's that mean? Um, I don't know, bro. I don't know how to like explain it. Backward-minded is yeah. it's the thing where, like, again, where your parents do a lot of stuff for you. That okay. Let me give you an example. So if say you're dating someone. Right? Okay. So you're dating, okay. right? But before you go out in public, like you gotta think twice. You gotta be like, oh, like, is anybody gonna think anything about me? Blah, blah, blah. It's like back that. home, you think? Yeah, that? yeah. Okay. Bro, like my sister, if she, like back home, back then, um, if she wore like a sleeveless top, yeah, she'd be like, oh, shit, should I be doing this? Because like people are gonna like shit at me if I go in the streets like that, yeah. So it's really? Like, because yeah. of the culture over there of, the, of guys yeah, and girls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, I am ignorant to some of this stuff, bro. I, yeah. I didn't know Sri Lanka was like that. Okay. Yeah, most of the most of South Asian countries are like that, yeah. Oh, okay. Huh. Oh, wow. So it's a big deal. It's a very big cultural shock, like, when you come You come here, here and you see everything. You know, like, every, every, nobody cares. Like, nobody cares what you wear. You see everything. Yeah, you see everything. Especially in college, you see everything. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. People are doing whatever, dyeing yeah, their hair these different yeah, colors, exactly. walking yeah. around, have piercings. People do whatever they want. I, I feel like wear whatever they want. Wear nothing. Back then, when I came here, I wasn't like this open. I guess like, right. I was open, but not this open. Right. So you've like definitely changed yeah, and changed, come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, I was like, yeah. Whatever. For the better or worse? For the better, hundred percent. Yeah. So like, for the first time I started cooking, uh -huh. I was here, right? So I was trying to make something. I think it was like sausages or whatever. It was the first time, bro. Like first time cooking. So I left the spatula, right? I was Plastic. cooking it, yeah, and I just left it, and I went like I went somewhere, I came back. Then it's like melting, and it's like in two pieces. I was like, what the fuck, man? Like first time cooking, Come first on. time cooking, <laughs> bro. That's what happens, yeah, bro. That's what happens. Anything, like I was, I was like so dumb. I think. Yeah, I'm bro. Really looking dumb, back, you're like, bro, what was I thinking? Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Bro, what are you doing? Now? Jim. <laughs> bro, from next week, I'm gonna be there. That's how this video needs to end. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna burn is gasoline and set it on fire, 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 fire. Hope someone sees it.